So what you're going to want to do at the start is open a new document and I chose 2000 by 2000, but you can do whatever you want to do, uh, whatever is going to fit your project the best. So then what you're going to want to do is find an image that you would like to get bitmapped. I found this skull on Unsplash and I think it will be a great representation of what this effect can do. So I'm going to import that in, just rasterize it and then go into my properties pla uh, panel and click remove background. If you don't have properties in the top tab window, you can scroll down here to properties and click it to put it somewhere on your screen and I've just docked it on the right hand side. Okay, so once you've done that, what you're going to do is you're going to go over to the top tab that says image and click mode and then grayscale. It's going to ask you if you'd like to merge it. The answer is yes. So now what I like to do is I like to mess around with the levels and you get to levels by clicking this half circle down at the bottom. And then I like to just bring it so like the light values are a bit higher and the dark values are dark. And once you've got that, what you're going to do is go back to the image layer. You click image mode bitmap. It's going to ask you if you want to flatten the layers. Yes. And then it's going to ask you this, which this really depends on your resolution or the size of your document. So it's going to differ for everyone. I suggest that you just mess around with it. Uh, I've got 20 here right now. And then what you're going to do is make sure that half tone screen is selected. I, I think 50% threshold is the one that's automatically selected. So you'll just want to click it and then go to half tone. You click OK. This other dialog box comes up. And then now you have different variations of how you would like the bitmap to like, look like. I like cross or diamond, it's really up to you, but today we're going to go with cross. And then the frequency and the angle, this sort of thing doesn't really have that big of effect on this effect. So we're just going to click OK. And as you see, it's scaled down the, the document size to then create this as a bitmap image. And I quite like this, however I'm just going to press Ctrl Z and do those steps again to see if I can do something better with like a higher output. So let's try 30. And then we're going to keep all the settings the same. And I like this a lot better, it's a lot more detailed now. So once you've got this, as it's still in the small ratio, what you're going to want to do is click image again, mode, and then grayscale. Once you've done that, you can go back to image, mode, and then RGB, and that will be back to its original setting. And then after that, you're going to go to image size. And what I do is just change the resolution back up to 300 DPI. And this is very important. You want to make sure that nearest neighbor hard edges is selected in this drop down, because if not, you're going to see that it's going to become very blurry. And just it doesn't look that good. So if you do nearest neighbor, it's completely sharp. It's like almost a vector. And then you're going to click OK. So now you have your skull. So what you're going to do is what I usually do is I make sure to double click the background layer so it's unlocked. And then I get the magic wand tool and make sure all of these are deselected at the top, the anti-alias, contiguous, and sample all layers. Make sure those are all deselected, and then you're going to click the black background, and you're going to click delete. So that's going to have selected all of the black background, and now what I'm going to do is make another layer, put it on the bottom, and then create a black background that I can now change the skull though. So now you can click on the skull and you can change it to whatever color you want. This lime green that just came straight up. I really like it. And this is how you do the image version of this. So now we're going to move on to showing you how to do the text. So you go over to the text tool and you're going to click and then you're just going to write whatever you want it to say. In this case, I'm going to use bitmap and then we're going to just have a quick look and see if there's any cool fonts which we might want to use and see how it turns out because I haven't used all of these fonts with this effect so certain ones are going to be better than others but I think I want to try one called Orion. I really like this font because it's very thick but we're going to see how this turns out. So I'm just going to center it 
And now we're going to double click the layer and it's going to open up this box of the layer styles. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add a stroke on the outside that's black. We're going to want to add a stroke on the inside that's white. And then we're going to add a gradient overlay that's just a standard black from white overlay. And as you can see, you can see the white border, but right now you can't see the black border. So we're going to add an outer glow, just a small one. And now you can see that what this layer style looks like. So after you've got that, it's the same process as before. You go up to the top, image, mode, grayscale. It's going to ask you if you merge it and you want to. So there you go. And now you're going to go back up to image and you're going to click bitmap. It's going to ask you to flatten the layers. That's okay. So I'm going to just start with five on the half tone screen method. And then we're going to just keep all this the same, try it with the cross and see what happens. Again, this is all trial and error. There's no way of really seeing what's going to happen. And as you can see, five is way too small. I can't read that anymore. So you can just press control Z and go back over and try it again with a higher maybe try a 15 output okay click ok make sure everything's the same and it is and again this is still unreadable it could be the fact that i'm using a very condensed te uh, font however we're going to just try it with a much larger bitmap now so we're going to try 50 and keep all the settings the same and bam this looks great Honestly, I really like the way this one came out. Uh, so, like I said earlier, this is completely trial and error, the way that you can get this effect. You're going to have to like try it multiple times, but a good thing is you can press Control z to undo after you see what it looks like, and it will take you back just before you applied the bitmap effect. So now that you've got this text, what you're going to want to do is do what we did before. Click Image, Mode, Grayscale. Keep the size ratio at 1, and then Image mode rgb then image image size and we're going to change this back up to 300 dpi and as you see here now it's back up to the original resolution however it's kept all the properties from the bitmap effect so now we can just delete the background well we can unlock the background layer and we can do the same thing that i was saying before with the last one and you can delete the black background and then add a layer, drag it underneath, and then just fill the background with black. So now you have this bitmap text that you can go and put on to any of your projects, and it'll look good, hopefully. So if you use this effect in any of your projects, I would love to see them. You can tag me on Instagram, at gvzzvh. I'll have that on screen. And I would love to support some of you guys and see your projects that you can do from this. So if you want to see some more tutorials from me, make sure to let me know in the comments what you would like to see. And if you want to see more, if you've got anything that's very specific, uh, that's a question, you can email me. I'll have that in the description below and I'll try my hardest to help you as much as I can. So yeah, this has been Gaz. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.